and then we can gradually do a bit of mixture of bit of everything. Yeah. Now all I've done here is I've taken a piece of the Upo. I know Upo paper is on the show, um, and I just run it through an embossing folder. So we always think that we need alcohol inks to work on slick, smooth surfaces, but you can bring in all your other um, textures. So we can. I thought we'd just have a little bit of a play. So I'm going to bring good. some of the blending tools in. Oh, sorry, that sounds loud there, doesn't it, <laughs> sort of thing. Now, we've got the felts, but I am quite tight with my felts as well. <laughs> you know, you just think we've got to do that. Way. So I wanted to create a little bit of background here. So I'm going to grab, let's, we've got some really one or two, some lovely greens. And I'm going to, oh, let's have pick the, let's go for the wild plum, because I'm getting into that, and we'll grab a bit of alcohol blending solution yep. and then I'm going to add a little bit of the mixative so let's go for the rose gold mm, lovely so alcohol inks how they're designed is that whoever goes on last wants to be the center of attention okay so they, they, they do mix together yep. but they want to do that way now the mixative is designed to mix in with your alcohol inks so it, it you, a little goes a long way. If you put a lot on, it will take over. Right. Because it's a pigment, and pigment sits on top of dye, mm -hmm. so therefore it will sit on a little bit more. It's different to an alloy. It doesn't move quite as freely as an alloy, so it's something different. So if you got the alloys last time, this is a different way oh, of using it. Oh, I don't think I saw the alloys. Huh? I just like the alchemy of everything, you know. It's, I'm always fascinated by it. It is. It's... They're a great one, you know, to play. You can use alcohol inks on your jelly plates. You can use them on anything really. Uh, Upo and slick surfaces or gloss surfaces work a little bit better because of um, they'll travel, they'll sit on top of it and you've got a little bit more movement. So I'm just going to sit there and I'm just going to put there. I just need to shake this up. Now the mixatives have a little ball bearing. Yeah, I can hear that. Um, and what will happen is, I don't think you can see that, you can see there's the liquid dye and there's the pigment. Yeah. So we need to put the two together. Got you. And that's when I'm saying the mixatives being pigment based will sit on top of what you do with your alcohol ink. Right. We've got the snow cap as well. Uh, which, uh, again, that's another one I haven't seen. The snow cap won't come out white, but it lightens the colours. Right. Lovely. Ooh, okay. You know, when you sit there and go, oh. I did <laughs> shake these before. So if I, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of the rose on there, and then we'll oh, add a little bit of the, um, I'm very good at putting my lids on. So let's do a little bit of blending solution. So now, blending solution just pushes it, makes... If, you put, if I put the inks down like this, I'll yeah. show you what I mean. So I can do it like that. I can put them on the top. Oh, and, I can get them, and I can get them to go back together. So as you can see, I've only put a little bit of that um, rose. Yeah. And it's trying to take over, even though I put a larger amount. It is, yeah. If I put the blending solution on, the blending solution is designed to push the ink um, away. Right. And so therefore, you, it will make it travel a lot quicker. That's interesting. So you get a, a, a different look, so we get a little bit more. It's slightly, um, not a dulls is not the right word with the colour, but it's, it takes the colour back. So when you can see that was just no blending solution, and that is with yeah. blending solution. But I can go over the top, as you can see. So I just want to mix it up. And I want to mix in that, that rose. Mm -hmm. Um, talking there. of the rose, uh, the rose gold metallic mixative and the alcohol blending solution, we are 15% of the stock gone. It's 11 99 So I just want to mix that in there like that. So so I've got a nice... So then I've, you can now see where the embossing folder... You can, definitely, yeah. a bit there. So let's grab some of this lovely... I just want a little bit of the wild plum. Now, I can use the blending foams, or if I put a tiny dot like that on there. Ooh, you can see the that. alcohol ink will go straight away. It wants to be the one in charge. The last one that arrived is the one who wants to be in charge. But I could <laughs> sit here with a paintbrush. I don't have to use my blending tools so I can have a little bit more yeah, control. I feel, like, I feel like, yeah, it's knocking the others out of the way. It does. It, it, it's like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Shimmy's in. Yeah sort of thing jazz hands or whatever <laughs> so you can you can use a blending tool you can use a paintbrush you can um, let it travel yeah so I'm just making a background here so if I put um, a little drop like that there and that's a tiny little drop and I get my blending solution which I put over here so it's gradually traveling as you can yeah. see but if I put the blending solution on it will then start to 
increase and travel out and what it does is it'll make the ink it pushes the ink out of the way um, and it makes it slightly less so you've got lots of different ways can you see where it's pushed the ink out of the way it's yeah. now taken some of the color back so you can knock some of your color back uh -huh. so if I put blending solution so if I didn't like this bit here if I just put plain blending solution onto a sponge right I can start knocking back my color I like they sort of get a ring around it as well. Yeah, so that's where it's, it's trying to, it's, it's, blending solution is a bit like, or any form of liquid is a bit like water. They always want to find a way out. Yeah. So, they're, <laughs> so I can sit there and I can lighten that now just by doing the blending solution. Right. So I can take the colour away and I could start all over again uh -huh. with the greens. And this is one of the things I love about the um, alcohol inks. Yeah. That you think your background is finished but you could carry on. Mm. So I've taken that way now, I've got a lighter bit there. So you, you can carry on going and going and going. I'm just gonna keep playing with just one or two more colors because we've taken this bit here. So we can put a little bit more. So just, and I'm gonna then quickly dry because I just wanted to show that, you know, you can, so we can now, I can rub it in. I don't have to just dab. Yeah. You can rub it in. Nice. I could create stripes. You know, you can play with it in, in, like we would do with all our other media. Yeah. It's good fun. It is. So what I want to do now is I'm going to put the lid on that before I knock it over. Do you know, because of the, um, the style of the embossing folder, it actually kind of, to me, looks like some dragon scales or something. It does now, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it's meant to be leaves. I just want to give this a quick dry. Sure. Uh, alcohol ink only takes... Be <sighs> 10 seconds or so to dry so you don't actually have a long playing time and right. that's why the blending solution is really there now, um are you using the heat tool that's I on the am, show excellent yes. we can bring you the details 29.99 and a lot of people actually say they prefer these ones to the you know the long ones well the, the long ones can be noisy yeah and quite quite intense whereas i think am i right in saying this one or does this one gets hot yeah yeah but um it's, it, it takes up less space for me, yes. and it, it's got a wider nozzle, so if I was embossing more something, more yeah. coverage. Really good. So like here now, but it's how quiet it is. Yes. I got used to one that sounded like some form of industrial cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> she says so. So I've got this here, and yeah. then I didn't know which of my, as you can see, I think I need to treat myself to probably some new sanding blocks. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to do was, I, where I've got the embossing folder, I could take the... Oh, I can see the leaves now. Can you yeah. see that coming? <laughs> yeah. So you can, you can create a background, uh -huh. and you can, so you could, you can do all the techniques that we would do, like um, with our distress inks. We'd make a background like this, and we'd then get a sanding block, yeah. and we'd knock it back. Yeah. But you could do that with the UPO and your alcohol inks. You don't, you know, it doesn't just have to be the distress inks. So I could carry on, and I would cut that up. I would probably add a little bit more speckles of the red to make it from there right. but I just wanted to show a different way of using the alcohol inks nice you know with stuff that you probably have like an embossing folder absolutely do you need a moment yes and I'll get ready for the next bit marvelous <laughs> uh, so details on screen again for the um, it's any pick and mix there of the alcohol inks 14 pounds and 99 pence uh, 838799 now have a look at the website as I said we've got lots more on the show we've got liquid pearls um, We've got liquid pearls, we've also got those lovely texture pastes. Lovely stuff. Um, uh, we've also got the stickles, you're getting all 11 of those. Oh, and I do like that rose gold mixative, it's doing very well actually, it's proving very popular. Okay, so without further ado, now we've got some UPO paper. Lou, how would you describe UPO paper? Okay, UPO paper is, it feels like plastic, it's like it a plastic bag, it's a synthetic um, paper that was designed for the art market for people who were using alcohol inks to create big pictures. Yeah. So Ranger collaborated with them to bring us smaller versions yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, so the UPO paper is designed you know, to work with the alcohol inks, it has a beautiful slick surface, right. you can play with it, it's also the benefit is double sided. Okay. Right, so you, if you cool. didn't like one side, you could always flip it over and use the other side nice. as well. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's lovely. It, 
I love playing with the UK paper. <laughs> there is so much you can do. You can die cut with it. You can I do create like that. Yeah. Backgrounds. People have been known to die cut and make it strong enough, um, the heavyweight one, to make some decent stencils out of if that's what you wanted to as well with your die cuts. Marvellous. I like that. So that's your heavy stock uh, white UPO paper. There you go. £14.99. Uh, you do get five sheets in there. And then we go on to a little smaller version here. Um, so there's white and translucent in terms of options when we come to this size, which is uh, five by seven, and you're getting ten paper sheets of your UPO, and that is ten ninety nine zero seven two eight six six. Next, then, core. These magnets look really weighty. <laughs> so this is your right. Make art stay shun. <laughs> magnetic surface <laughs> and Susie it looks industrial these magnets they look heavy duty these they are they're good, they're good size but um they but you can pick them up quite yep. easily I mean they will stack on top of each other if you want them to stack on top of each other but um, you just slide them apart yeah but you can use this to stamp on and um, because you've got the grid on the front but if you turn it over it's a plain side so you you, you can you've got the choices there if it's got a magnetic ruler Woo. oh yeah that okay. will come off Sorry, it is upside down. Oh, okay. But go. that magnetic ruler comes away. Okay. It should do. Yep. Yep. Which means then you can then put it on the other side. If, so you can move Ooh. it around and get your measurements. Got you. Or alternatively, um, what I do is I use it and put my piece of card up against it so it doesn't move. Right. Good point. Yeah. I've, yeah. Nice. It's, heavy duty. It's, it's lovely way. I love it for stencils as well mm -hmm. as stamping. Yeah. Good point. Twenty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence. Nine two four three nine eight. And then we move on to, okay, ah, yes, so is this the rose gold one? Yes, yes. This is the rose gold one uh, with the alcohol blending solution. And we're a third of the stock gone, and I do like this colour. It's really pretty, liking that. Uh, but, yeah, you're going for this a lot. 11 996 And then we move on to the other mixatives. We've got... The metallic ones. Is this right? Yes, yeah, you've got like a gunmetal. And then you've got another, so you've got three together there, which is gunmetal, the rose, yeah. and you've got the snow cap, which snow is the cap. white. Um, they're on the swatches over there if you want to see. They're, and they're the ones that I was using now, they're designed to mix in with the alcohol inks uh -huh. yeah. um, and create a blend. But right. They do like to take over as well if allowed to as well. Yeah, lovely. Okay, 17 95 um, now, if you're going for a good couple of bundles, it is well worth becoming a Freedom member. Uh, now, the price for the month used to be uh, £6.97, but instead we have taken it down to £5.97, where you'll get unlimited standard delivery. There's no contracts involved, and you can chip in and chip out at any time that you like. Exclusive discounts, monthly newsletter, and a member's badge. For full T's and C's, go to the website. Um, if you are in the US, now per item, it's $6.95. So we don't want you paying that per item. For $19.99, again, you get all those benefits and all of your postage is covered. And we also, of course, ship to um, Europe. You can see all the countries on there. And again, we've got this for €14.97 Euros per month. Lovely jubbly. Um, right then, back over to you, Lou. What have you got for us? Well, I thought we'd have a bit of a play with absolutely everything. <laughs> <Sounds good. laughs> that's my idea. Well, that's what I do at home. Yeah. Make lots of bits and pieces yeah. and then see where you're going to take them. Now, this is the staycation that we're talking about. And you can use it for your stamping. So, you obviously, you can put your magnets there. I'm loving it for stencils. You know, rather than um, paste um tape or whatever it's called all the time I mm -hmm. I just love it for because it can hold them in place yeah just like I mean I'm being a bit overkill with four but <laughs> but I'm only but when you've got longer stencils as yeah. well and the paper's smaller it just holds it all oh brilliant I'm gonna move those out there because I don't need them. right what I thought we'd do is play with the um, texture paste we've got so I'm going for the opaque matte um, because I want it this is quite a like, lovely firm a bit like um, royal icing. Oh, yeah. Sort of it, it is a nice it, texture. Obviously, actually. don't eat it. It's, yeah. Um, but yeah. So these are great 
little pots to get you into whether you've not done texture paste before or yeah. things like that with mixed media. It lets you know because sometimes it can be daunting about what they are. So what I want to do is I just want to put the texture paste through. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to push it all the way through that stencil. I'm being really tight now and pushing it back in. If it was coloured, I probably wouldn't. But but now what I wanted to do was, for, this will dry matte, but I want an, a nice raised layer. And I want to bring in the liquid pearls and the stickles. Yeah. I'm being really tight now. I have more <laughs> texture paste and yeah. it goes further yeah. than I do this. That's so if I put the, the matte layer down, yeah. it means these pearlescents are going to stand out. And they're not going to compete. Right. So all I wanted to do was, I just want to add little highlights Ooh. of the top on the top of it, and so I've gone for the, the lovely, oh, pearl. lovely silver and the pearl. Yeah, I've gone mm. for the silver pearl and the onyx. That sounds lovely. So, and all I want to do is, I just want to add a little touch to the. Ooh, look at that. that's rich. The top of the texture. So I. I know if you overplay on a stencil, it will go underneath. Yeah. But if we do it very lightly, it won't. So now I can have the intensity of that beautiful black. If I mixed it in with the paste, it's going to go a grey. Right. Whereas if I just slide it on the top now, it, you know, it changes. But then I could do the same if I wanted to. I have got a dry background. I could add now a tiny little bit of the stickles mm -hmm. on the top, and it adds just a enough for me anyhow yeah. of glitter <laughs> I know you know, I'm a bit of a glitter phobe but I can do the same with the silver so you can create a lovely dark background mm. with something that's a white opaque yeah and you carry on building it and building and building it Let's put that way so when I take away I'm gonna take that I've now got a background that's if, cool if I just gonna put that on if I put this on a piece of tissue and then I'll just spritz it in a moment so that background now should technically be um, matte but and now I've got pearlescent I've got silver yeah. and I've got lots of other different bits and pieces with it um, so, do you know what I want to put on that because it looks quite dark and grungy and um, abs in the studio next door one of his mm. stamps is this fabulous skull <gasps> oh yeah, 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 yeah. so I did it, so this one here is on white, yep. but it works just as well on black. Oh, you really get the stickles and everything coming through so now. I, it's exactly the same stencil, Yeah. but I just wanted to show you, so you could do the white, but I've done it on a I really on the like that. black. Yeah. So it's, uh, I suppose, the tight crafters in this way <laughs> to add a little bit of pearl, yeah. and, but we're, we've got the texture paste underneath to give us the raising. Yeah. And we don't feel like then we're going to use a whole bottle to go through a stencil. No. Nice. So I'm being tight. Yeah, so no, it's great. You, you know, we just go. Well, so we all, want our money's worth, don't we? We do. So what I've done is, because I thought I'd better make at least one finished project. <laughs> otherwise, I won't feel happy. Oh. So all I've done is I've taken dies and I've just literally cut my panel out. Right. And just created a frame. And look, I've even been good and put a, a big piece of 3D foam on the back. And I just wanted to put that, slightly raise it up. I've got a little bit of twine as well uh -huh. now I, which side do i want to do it oh i quite like that bit there so i just want to add a little bit of twine around this okay. and i'll cut the excess away in a moment and then just put that there now i made a background um the other day that i really didn't like with the alcohol inks right i, I can't tell you why there's nothing just offensive about it yeah. but it just didn't appeal to me but this is, I wanted to bring this in to prove that I actually can die cut it. Right. Yes. And it die cuts cleanly. Because nice. I know we, it's very easy when someone says, oh yes, it die cuts. And then we've already pre-done it. Yeah. And people go, oh. But I just wanted to show the sheet there. The, no, that's good. So yeah. That. So I've, what I've done is I've actually die cut it and then I've just put a piece of white card underneath. Right. And I just want to add. That's funky. Yeah, it's a, one of the clever prints ones. I wanted a really nice, uh, funky one yeah. to do it that way. And then I've just done it again with a little bit that was left over. Why waste it? Mm. I cut out another bit and then just took an element of it away. So that can now sit slightly there. So all the white is doing is acting as a little bit of a shadow. Yes. And then I've just got my sentiment that I'm going to just stick there. And where's my glue? Now, you could use your texture paste or your gel mediums actually the best one for this would be my glossy accents yes because it will sit on top of that better that would be nice 
You know when you just stir, you go. Ooh. I love glossy accents. I love them for when you like add to cab cover shons or filling buttons. Yeah, they add that. So I've got that there. So I've got to put it towards me, like stand still. I'm going to put the lid on there, and then all I was going to do was just tie a simple little knot. But I just wanted to show that you know the backgrounds don't always have to be bright. Mm -hmm. They can be darker as well, and yeah. a different way of using. All right, being tight for want of a better expression. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I've got that. So that's a darker version. But I could do something similar with, mm -hmm. the, with the lighter version yeah. straight away. And I just thought it was a bit of fun. Yeah, marvellous. <laughs> Love that. Thank you, Lou. Um, have a look again at our website. You can shop by brand. We've got lots of lovely goodies on the show. We have got your liquid pearls. We've got that heat gun, by the way. So, I mean, a lot of people have more than one heat gun. You might be in the market for a, a newer one. Maybe you've got the longer ones and you're thinking, actually, I'd quite like one like this. Uh, we've also got your blending brushes with lots and lots of extra pads. Now, I like having all of those pads because I personally like to keep one for each of my colour inks. I don't like to mix, I don't like to contaminate. So, uh, I, <laughs> you're seeing that I'm a bit of a clean freak, right? Uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, right, so our inks. Uh, starting with the stickles at the top, rather. These have such a lovely little sparkle to them. They're adorable little bottles, to be honest. And you've got all the really useful colours. I love the fact that you've got your Christmassy colours. Now, let me just see. Um, in, oh, in fact, let me look at the board. That would be more helpful. Because you've got some that do... If I come to this side, you've got some that do something slightly different, even though they may look the same in the pot. So this is your diamond, which literally looks really, really bright. The crystal has a little tinge of pink to it. And in fact, there you go. You can Actually, you can see the difference on the black as well. Then you've got your stardust. There we are. No, that's interesting. Sorry, just looking at the crystal, it's interesting how on the white it's a little bit more pink, and here it's almost a little bit more green. So is that like an interference, Lou? Mm, yeah, it is okay. an inter like an interference. So if you painted that on as a background, it yeah. would have looked really, really nice. It, or even like, you know, if you die cut, we do like the drop shadow, like I've just done now, in a yeah. darker colour, with that on. Mm. Behind, oh. That looks really good. It's, it's so interesting. And then the stardust kind of has a different effect, and so does the ice core. Almost on the, uh, the black, it looks quite gold. Um, and then, obviously, you have got the gold, the pure gold, and your pure silver. And then um, over this side, we've got our black diamond waterfall. That's another one that does something different on the black. Interesting. And then you've got your green, your Christmas red, and your cranberry. And you're not choosing. It's not a pick and mix. All 11 for 9.99. 40 percent of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised at this price. That's great. Um, 9.99, 6.53769. Then we come down to our pick and mix of our alcohol inks, and they really are, as we've been seeing, so intense, absolutely lovely to play with, and a little goes a very, very long way. You're picking any four, and I'm just hunting for the boards. Here we are. Uh, you can see them. So this is on the UPO paper. You've got your eggplant, sunset orange, citrus, botanical, pitch black, rose gold, gunmetal, and the snow cap. And still going on. Oh, I've just read. Have I read you? Oh yes. No, no, not those ones. I don't think. There you go. So it's these. And then also you can choose your crimson, purple twilight, shell pink, denim, raspberry, aquamarine, wild plum, or the pool. Any four for fourteen ninety nine. Um, these have also been popular. Item number is eight three eight seven nine nine. Interesting, Lou. You know how much you really like the pool. That one's in the lead, is it? I just think it's um, it's not quite blue, but it's not quite turquoise. Yeah, it, it's a little blush. Like, it's like a cross between the two, I and it's got. Yeah, oh, it's got a warmth to it. Yeah, I'm going to call it peacock. As well. if it, it's a peacock yeah, colour. Yeah, it, it is, isn't it? But it's not got not overtones of the green. It, yeah, no. It's, it's an unusual mix. It's lovely, really lovely. That one's in the lead. Fourteen ninety nine for any four, eight three eight seven nine nine. And then we have also got our... They're, they're such essentials for people, these, aren't they? Um, this time we're choosing any five of your Distress Inks. And that's fifteen ninety nine. And I've got the um, the board here. 
we've got our salty ocean, peacock feathers, squeezed lemonade, faded jeans, tumbled glass, bundled sage, wilted violet, picked raspberry, because for ages I was saying pickled, black, <laughs> black soot, uh, sponge sugar, and vintage photo. A vintage photo is a must-have, I feel. Mm. It, really it is. is. It's, a, it's a nice one to mix in with all different sorts of colours yeah. as well. Yeah, the sepias. Yeah. Fifteen ninety nine six seven six 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 nine. Mm. Next, then we've got our mixatives. These have been also really popular. Okay, the first one you're getting a set of three, where you're getting your two metallic mixatives or your uh, and your snow cap. Uh, Seventeen ninety nine eight eight five four nine five. And the other mixative that we've got is the rose gold option with the blending solution, the alcohol blending solution. It's a big bottle, that. 11 99 Now, if you've got any questions for Lou, if you wanted to experiment, I'm sure she wouldn't mind, <laughs> um, then please send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or you can pop your questions on Facebook. Back to you, Lou. Right, I thought we're going to play... I did the original demonstration on the UPO with the embossing folder. So I thought we'd bring in some stencils and use the opaque. Now I'm going to use the mat again. The only reason I'm going to use the mat again because it will stand out yeah. a little bit more when I'm, yeah. when I'm demonstrating. But it doesn't mean that the others don't. I was trying to find... So... Sorry, that was, that was something for something else. But that is what I mean by the translucent on the black. I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up. Um, so... When we're talking about the translucent one, this is how it will end. So you'll see the colour underneath. Yeah. So that's the matte version, and the gloss would be exactly the same. Right. They're just very hard to make swatches for for you to. I know. Don't worry. Show. <laughs> so I thought we'd have a go. So I've got the translucent U post. You can see through the matte here because I can see the grids that it is translucent. They make lovely, um, really sturdy centres for lights. So I'm just going to use my texture paste, the matte one. Yep. Yeah. The main reason, one, it will dry a little bit quicker when I heat it up in a minute, mm -hmm. but um, it will just stand out better. Because obviously when the other one's dry, it's translucent, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so this time all I'm doing is, I'm filling it up. This is um, a big crafty stencil, it's on the website. I did double check before I came. So we're just going to do it that way. I'm just going to move it out of the way. So if I use this... Move these. That's why I love these. I think mm. this is such a great way of holding your stencils in. Lovely. So that is there. Now I did get some tissue out, but I'll just leave that there and dry it off in a moment. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to give this a quick blast. Um, you can dry because I want. To, even though we've got the heat tools on, you can dry your UPO paper. Yeah. Um, but you need to be. Don't go too close to it. If you go too close to it, it's like a plastic, so it will start to right. warp and shrink. Okay. But it's not a shrink plastic. No, it's no. not a shrink plastic. It'll just... It, if you grab a piece of it and try and tear it, you can't because of the way it's designed. But if I put the heat tool up against it, I would make it pucker. I'm trying to, I was trying to think of a word that would describe the action that it would actually do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I want to just do the heat from the top. And this won't take long to dry. No, it's near enough done. I oh, just want to cool. check. Yeah. That is the translate the gels, um, the texture paste gels, take a little bit longer. That's why I'm demoing with this. Right. Because um, I think it's nice to see that you can do a project from start to finish. Quite whereas quickly. the gels will give, you would have to do it and, and leave it a little bit longer. I have got one drying in the background there, okay. which I can get rid of. It. Uh, we, we've got about ten minutes left. Okay, we nearly finished. Don't worry. I should have oh, no, no rush. Let's just just a time check <laughs> I'll for play. you. Right, let's just put, I might as well keep this on here. Right, so I thought, we did the embossing folder. Yeah. So, would alcohol inks work on top of in texture paste, which is what I thought. And I thought, ooh. Let's have a let's play. Let's have a play. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, the wild plum, sorry, the raspberry, the orange. I'm going really quite girly for me, actually. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's go for the rose gold mixative. Where have I put it? Don't want the gun metal. Right, so I thought we'd have a play with that. Let's get a new... Oh, look, I'm going to even treat myself to a new felt. <laughs> I do keep them. I'm dreadful, I must admit. <laughs> well, because they've got alcohol ink in still in there, so yeah. why not? So I'm just going to put... there. I'm being probably a little bit overly generous with my um, alcohol ink than I would normally be, but that's just so I can show you what I'm doing. Yeah. 
Um, all right, I'm just going to do, and this, I, that, I mean, that's a beautiful orange. It doesn't come out orange. It looks like it's sludge, but it doesn't. It comes out beautifully. And then I just want a little bit of the rose gold. So as I said before, we've got to mix it up. We've got the ball bearing at yeah. the bottom there. And a little goes a long, long way. Um, because it's a pigment, it will want to sit on top of the dye. And that's why. Yeah. And this time round, I'm going to put a little bit of the blending solution. So the blending solution is going to make the colours slightly... Uh, they'll still be intense, but not quite as much, but it'll also move the ink around mm. a little bit more. Oh, wow. You see, you don't expect it, do you? No. That, that brightness. But it's also going on top of the texture paste. Yeah. So I'm getting a real... So I'm, I'm putting my mat on this mat underneath, because... I don't want to make this dirty just yet. Yeah. You just know when you yet, just get though. you know <laughs> the yet did go in there. Yeah. But now that is now doing the on top of. But I've got all I love the way that the ink is blending outside the stencil. Mm. But where it's on top of the texture paste, it's not. It, yeah. it it's literally staying put. So I could go over. As you can see there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. So now if I get the snow cap, what the snow cap will do, mm. it's not a, these are more metallic, like the rose gold yeah. we've got there. This isn't. Right. Um, so it doesn't have a metallic, but it has a, a it's white, as it were. So if I'm going to put it on, let's get a clean sponge so you can show it properly. Where's my, here. I'm being really generous with my felt. It's like, oh. <laughs> I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> the clean. <laughs> so the snow cap will just go on and it's, it is designed as a mixative, which means it will mix in. So when I put it on, it, Ooh, it's it goes bright. on white. Yep. But can you see it's starting to mix in with the actual alcohol ink? Oh. So gradually it's making the colour a little bit lighter. It won't yeah. stay white. Now, it will stay white where I've got it a little bit more onto the texture paste. I see. But it's also trying to mix in with the alcohol ink that was underneath it. So it's a lovely one that you can add your highlights to. And, and knock back your colour and build up your layers. Mm. Look at that. So it, you can actually now change it. Yep. Well, so it a, a little again, I only put the tiniest little dot on there, uh -huh. goes a long, long, long way with it. Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly grab a piece of white card so you can just see all the different colours because that will really stand out that. Nice. a little bit more. But I've got the, the beautiful rose gold. That's the shine, yeah. Coming through? Yeah. So, I, Right, so what I thought would be really, really nice was if I grabbed this Bisque Liquid Pearls. Because, like I said, the Liquid Pearls will do so much. Yeah. In the next hour, I've got a demonstration with them to do um, something like with spraying Ooh. and things like that. So what I want to do is I just want to... With a tiny little bit of water. Uh -huh. I'm going to put a little bit more there. Lovely. With our pearlescence, uh, or our liquid pearls, sorry, um, over half the stock is gone. You're getting the silver bisque, gold and onyx for 9 99 So when you mix it with a little bit of water, what you've done is you've made it like a glaze. Yeah. So what I wanted to do is on top of this top bits here, I just wanted to very lightly dry brush. Yeah. And I know it's going to be really hard to see. I have got one that's dry. Cool. So you... You'll see. So I just wanted to really lightly dry brush, and I wanted it to be um, a little bit watered down. Now, if I'd have taken the liquid pearls itself and put it on, yeah. See, look, a little goes a really long, long way. Yeah. In the brush, I can. St I could do exactly the same over the top, and you could create a, a different effect. Mm -hmm. And it's a lovely way of, you know highlighting something and giving a bit of color not just by dots so what i did was if i move this out of the way i'm going to move that the whole thing yeah. the whole thing is easier to move out of the way when it's finished and it's dried this is what it actually looks like so then what i did was with a paintbrush with the liquid pearls yeah i went around the outside of each of the petals so i've taken the ranger pen looks really cool and that's the same stencil yeah. as that yeah and the same Yupo, or it's slightly different colours, but I've then gone round the stencil and just highlighted each of the parts that I've um, drawn on. It's nice. Um, and so think of, don't think of the liquid pearls. Now I could go in and I could add my dots. So the idea is I will make this into a card. Yeah. But I could go in and I could add my dots on top if I wanted to. So, you know, you could do the, that we do. 
and I could fill them all up and I could carry on building up my petals that way and I right. could add even more texture. So you can do all the traditional techniques that we th we associate with the um, liquid so pearls. so effective this and it's so fun to just mess about isn't and it's, it? <laughs> but it's it has so many other little hidden talents as I was saying before yeah that use it as um, a highlighter uh -huh. Add it with water and make it into a glaze. Or even if you, um, you'd have to work quickly, mix it with a little bit of the glossy accents. Mm. If you mix it with a little bit of glossy accents, yeah. stir them up together and then tip that into a cabochon. Cool. You get, um, and then go over it with like a cocktail stick. Yeah. You get like a marbling oh, effect. Swirls. Yes. And the glossy accents dry solid and uh -huh. keeps it all in place. Yeah. But then you get that little hint of gold or whatever colour you want to do. Nice. So I could, it was just a way to show that you could still have messy fun uh -huh. but you know create cleanly you know at the end yeah. of the day with it as well and bring them in just for that edit hickster and as I said I've just painted around the outside there uh -huh. with them the bisque just to add a little bit more and then just the dots on top absolutely I love the look of that it's really really cool this one um, so as you've just um, touched on those liquid pearls let's show you these I think these are so nice so you've got your gold, your silver, your bisque and your onyx and we are at 70% of the stock gone but they really do form the most lovely pearl. I just think that's so nice. I just, I'm, I'm a bit addicted to the look of them. I really like that. Stunning colours. That is $9.99 for all four. Again, a really nice price here. Six, um, five, three, seven, six, nine. Then we've got our lovely texture pastes. Now here you can see you've got your um, translucent gloss. You've got your translucent matte and then you've got your opaque matte. Plus you're getting the two different size glossy accents. I like having two of them. Uh, it's £20.99, and pence, one, two, one, zero, five, three. And then next up, we have got our big foam mat, which you can cut up, should you wish. But I like the idea you said you could stamp onto the... What did you say you could do with the back? Right, the, so the, the dark side. The dark side, yeah. sorry. Yeah. So you heat it up. I would cut it up to do it rather than heat that. Right. And then you heat it up and then you can press a stamp into it for a little while. Yeah. Take it away and then you've got like a, a negative image. Right. So we can do that the, the second show. And okay, just sounds really interesting. Yeah. Um, and you've got the blending tool and also you've got the, um, how many have we got? Ten of them. Ten replacements for seventeen ninety nine 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 eight four seven five. Are we moving along or? Yes, okay. Um, then we've got, we've only got two minutes left. Oh, okay, so, all right, then yeah. I'll put that back. I'll just so, <laughs> so what were you going to do there, a little spritz? Yeah, the liquid pearls, put it inside the spritzer, yeah. shake it up, and then you can spritz over the top of it, and it creates a nice. really beautiful, subtle pearl. Well, um, I hope we can, because we're limited oh. stock on them now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want to? Yeah, 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 I thought so. Go for it. We've got a minute okay. and a half, right, but at this... least we can see it. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm taking one of the mini spritzers from Ranger. How much you tip in um, is your own personal preference. Yeah. So the more you put in, the stronger the colour will be. Got um, The less you put in. So... I'm just having a look down the side there how much I've got. So you could, if you wanted to, mix this, mix two colours together. So I could, you know, if I wanted to do the black and the silver and lighten it up. So all I'm going to do then is... Got a minute, Lou. I'm going... Shake it really quickly. <laughs> I'm just going as quick as I can. Bless you. So now, can you see I've got a gold? Yes, nice. And it's got a, quite an intensity. So let's see... If I do it on this side where there's not any. So now I've created a That's beautiful. Cool. Nice to see that, but, but we've instead... sold out, Lou. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm really glad we got to see that, though, just that little bit, which is really cool. Um, OK, so also just to mention, we've got the... Um, how do you pronounce this, Lou? I would say stay... Shin. Shin. Okay. Yeah, I don't... There you go. Um, it has been very busy. Twenty two ninety nine nine two four three nine eight. Thank you very much, Lou. I really Thank enjoyed you. that one. Thank you. Really enjoyed it. What time are you back, Lou? Two o'clock, I believe. Marvellous. So do make sure you are joining Lou at two o'clock, and uh, we will see you after this short break. Till 
called a tiny farm collection. We've got some absolutely stunning fabrics for you. And then uh, sweet poppy stencils, which I love. And after that, all and create fourth birthday. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality, award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil. And in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on her channel? Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. You know, 
Well, today, I mean, today we are having such a blast here at Hatanda. If you're just joining us, welcome. We have got an amazing hour ahead of us, quality and beautiful uh, designs, uh, fabric. And of course, we have got a beautiful lady as well who is going to tell us all about it. Of course, Natasha McCarthy is here. Hello. How are you? Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, now, top sides. Yes. Thanks so this morning, guesting now. Yeah. And now, one of the things, uh, you know, like when we started talking about fabrics, I mean, we, we have known each other for a few years years but I remember when we were talking one of the things that you said is like you like quality and there's a few brands that you love and Tilda is one of them. Tilda is absolutely one of mine. Uh, the designer Tuna Fernanga is a lovely lovely lady. There's not much out there on her. She keeps herself to herself. Uh, she lives in on the Norwegian fjords would you believe um, and she is absolutely lovely her and her husband run Tilda she um, used to work in a craft shop and then just started designing for them and doing bits and bobs and uh, and and now she is an internationally renowned artist with her works they are just gorgeous and what we've got today is a children's range which isn't something she does very often at all but the really beautiful thing about these and I can't I'm not sure if I ever quite say it right but they are a Tio Tex um, standard, which means that they can be used in children's sleepwear and oh. clothing. So it, it just means that it's the highest standard of dyes and, and you know, th that you can get. Um, so they, they are safe to use. And also, with this fabric, she's just swapped mills where she gets her fabric made. And normally on cotton, you would get like a 6 to 7% shrinkage, 3 to 4. So much less. Yeah. And that is, of course, very important when you are doing things for children because, you know, <laughs> it's like clothes. It's going to wash. It's going to wash. It's well. going to absolutely wash. As we can see here, these two dresses are my daughter's. And they, the minute that I saw the fabric, um, that was the whole, the whole, these, these, I made these a while ago for Emily. Um, and yeah, we can't turn this round around because it does have dinner stains on it that I can't get out. But they do wash. You can see how well the fabric washes. Washes well. These aren't these aren't just brought in for today. She goes to nursery in these. They get covered in paint. They get covered in curry. They get covered in it. She loves curry. Uh, you know, they are hard wearing, hard working fabrics. Um, and that's yeah, what brought them in for you to see and, today. And the one thing, uh, of course, when I'm looking at it, and you can see, well, we have got options. First of all, they are fat courses, but they are American fat course bundles, which means I'm going to open one up to show you. Is that means because they cut the fabric by yards rather than yeah, meters? Yeah, yeah, So normally a fat quarter, so your fabric is 44 inches from selvage to selvage. So across yeah. the width of the fabric, it's 44 inches. So you get half of that. But normally a fat quarter would come off a meter, because yeah. in, in this country we do everything metric. Yeah. Um, but in the States, they do it in Imperial, so uh, a, an American fat quarter will be half of a yard rather than yeah. half of a meter. So it's just shy of 50 centimeters deep, but that is about 52 centimeters wide. So uh, the same width, uh, but the, the slightly shorter yes. than yes. you know, the height. Now, one of the By things. A smidge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll get confused very quickly. Uh, now, of course, what we have got is the different options. One also I wanted to mention that, yes, it is a collection design for children but I don't see anything here that would put me off as an adult because I think it's it's the kind of thing my mom will like it gardeners exactly gardeners and I'm gonna show you today my first demo is gonna show you how to make a paper pouch using these and there's no reason why you couldn't store your seed packets Absolutely. and things in it right options let's talk about options we have got the blue animals in here so you are getting all three in here then we are getting uh, then the, the other option is the red farm well of course it has got the farm and the flowers and the the tools in here then we have got the mess farm which is the most popular one and I'm not surprised actually to be honest this is the one that I would go for as well then we have got the blue farm in here again you are getting the beautiful florals but it's slightly different and then we have got the lilac farm now 11 pounds and 49 pence is a price for whichever option of three five quarters now it is quality it's this so that but also I would say if you are a completionist like I am, why not go for more like all the options? Because then you can mix and match 
all of them. It would be rude not to. It would be, wouldn't it? Because that also, uh, that pro that would bring you almost uh, to 57, uh, 47, but add a pattern and then you're over 60 and then you can flexi buy it uh, there. Of course, you can. 495-970 is your item number. And by the way, if you do that, become a Freedom member because that would save your impostage as well. Gloriously beautiful again. Now, this one is a set that you are getting four fat quarters. You have got different options in here 14 pounds and 99 pence. By the way, I need to mention that there is extended delivery. Um, there is a bit of this, uh, it will be dispatched in two weeks' uh, time. Now, we have got the different options in here. We have got the gorgeous. I love this. <laughs> I Stroke love. it a bit more. It's so soft, isn't it, as well? It's so beautiful. Soft. Yeah. So this one is the pink, then we have got the blueberry, which is that beautiful, I love that, you know, kind of, yeah, blueberry tones into yeah, it. Yeah, it's a and, bit special. And then the amber tones. It's umber. Umber. Yeah, umber. Umber and sand. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's really beautiful. It really is. beautiful. They are very elegant. They have, yeah. Feel that always has such a sophisticated, elegant palette, colour palette. She does. And also, the colour palettes that she uses, she uses across the board. So these will be colours. If you've already got um, an extensive collection of Tilda, uh, you know, speaking as one who might. Uh, <laughs> they sit in beautifully with the Tildas that you already have. And that's the absolute beauty of it. I'm part way through a quilt that I've been making for well over a year. And every time she brings out a collection, I add a few more charms, uh, charm size pieces from a new collection. And it just is turning into the most beautiful quilt from across so many different ranges. So don't think of this as a standalone item. Think of this as feeding your stash um, and just adding in to the wonder that is Tilda, the fabulous quality, the beautiful design, the timeless designs as well. Really lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Five zero zero three six seven uh, is your item number. Again, it is USA uh, fat quarters, so it's out of a yard rather than a meter. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. Then we have got a pick and mix, a half meters in here of the solids. Uh, gorgeous colors. Oh, I love the steels. And again, it's Tilda, so and Mother Bella solids. So great quality. Yep. Across the board, absolutely across the board. And I asked for solids to be brought in because uh, in the next hour, when we, we're going to so we're going to focus, focus on the tiny farm this hour, and then at one o'clock, we're going to focus on the maple farm. So the orange and the green, the yellow and the mustardy color and the green, they work beautifully with the tiny farm. Ah, I see. Now, they look a bit strange because they're on the end of the counter, so they look slightly, they don't look quite right next to the maple farm, but if you bring them up and put them amongst okay, the shut. farm, so or I'll, yeah, I'll, bring I'll, some of that down with you, I'll then bring. you start to see why they're there. Yeah, do you see? That looks, you, that's a happier mix, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look at that. Um, and so if you want to make a gardening bag or something for someone, then, you know, why not line it with one of the planes? Or if you're doing a patchwork um, or something like that, they, you know, that's what it's going to work for. And then the other, the uh, teals and those also, of course, work beautifully. But that plum in there works beautifully with the maple farm as well. And next hour, we'll show you the goose. Um, and that works with a really strong colour. So that's why there's the colours there that there are, if that makes any and, sense. And it's a pick and mix. I mean, what I'm with, with just this one, this one will work with any of them. Yes. Uh, and of course, then it's the preferences because you're kind of thinking with the brown, if you're doing something like for a gardener, this would be perfect, very perfect, elegant. Yeah. If you're making something for a child, maybe a stronger colour yes. will be. Uh, I'm going to put that here in just a second. Right. Uh, it's a pick and mix. Remember, you choose well, two half metres. It could be for the different from a tilda maple or it could be for the solids. Let's go through the options. So we have got uh, birdie blue. On so the right, on next the one across. No, nope. come towards me. The one with birds on. That one. That, oh, there, 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 that, there we are. That's the tilda, yeah. So <laughs> it's like, I was thinking, oh yeah, the pine and, yeah, yeah, birdie blue. Birdie blue, that's the birdie blue. Then we have got the wheat flower. I love that one. And then gray seed teal is the bottom one here. Then we have got here at the top, we have got the fig tree, fig tree olive. 
uh, factory oil, yeah. and then we have got eggplants, and then we have got the dark teal at the bottom. So that would be the dark teal. And then the last ones are, we have got maize, and then weather teak, and then finally, a mother, mother? Breeze, breeze. Nice. It's nice. Nice. Well, all of them are very nice. Our uh, half meter pieces, uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 477-532 is your item number. And then we have got a rotary bundle here for you. We have got an A3 cutting mat, double sided. And then we have got, you can see in here, uh, that you have got a triangle. Now, is that a, th I think this one is a 60s uh, degree. Um, oh, you can see that. That's a 60. Uh, so it gives you, and it's in metric, which is kind of unusual to see it as well. And then Perfect course, for bunting. Oh, of course. That is the perfect, perfect size for bunting. And could you imagine doing the tiny farm as bunting for little ones oh, around their bedroom. Now, um, but Natasha, could you make different sizes of bunting with this? Of course you can. All you'd have to do is cut a strip of fabric. Well, I'll show you. Here we go. Oh, we'll yeah. do it. Why well, not we can just do see it. it. Well, 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 Natasha is uh, setting that for that. Uh, remember, you get a rotary cutter with this uh, um, kind of safety measure as well. Uh, Ten pounds off and six nine four zero two zero is your item number. Twenty eight pounds and seventy five pence. You know, I always say this is perfect for a beginner, but also even if you have got cutting mats, it's good to have an extra one. And definitely that uh, cutting. Um, rotary tool as well as and the uh, the template no no it's not, it's not a template ruler you're right. gonna have to bring that ruler let's have a look at it let's uh, see what we're doing okay so I'm gonna pass it on I'm gonna just gonna go in leave it here <laughs> and then it's like the worst relay race isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah well if I'm involved it's not a race <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're going to look at here um, is basically just, I'm going to use this along here and see where, we're, so let's go with uh, six inches here, which is about 15 centimeters, and I'm going to cut my strips like so. Well, I didn't okay. expect to be doing this this morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of too good to miss, isn't it? When it you is. see something like that, it's like, oh, actually, why didn't I? Uh, why yeah. didn't I just do that? Hang on, I've chosen to cut through a lot of layers of fabric. I didn't realise quite how many times they were folded over there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. So all you would need to do is. Um, unfold your many many layers of fabric look at me trying to make it quick and then just making it much longer <laughs> <laughs> I know that less feeling, speed yeah. more haste yeah, exactly. is that all I can never remember which way around it goes one or the other anyway so um, and then lay them out unfold them like so now, the first cut you're going to make this side and then you'll flip it. So, you want to line up so that you've got, and what you'll see on the ruler, I don't know if you can see, is that line along yes. the bottom there. Uh, we got it, yeah. So just line, that should be, if I get this, um, about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a quarter of an inch in. So just hang that bit off the end and then line everything else up and now flip it. And what you'll do is then just keep rotating the ruler, okay? So take that and that just takes the... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's so you it. just have to take that off and then you've got that and then you will, I mean, you'll line all your fabric up beautifully and spend the time on it. Well, but if it's banting, sometimes you don't need to be as precise as other, you know, if you are piecing or you are dressmaking, you know, um, sometimes It's banting, not yeah. so important, it is, is it? No. no it is. And so you've already got uh, your pieces. Now, if you want to double size it, that's why we've taken off 
See, I'm all matching today. Look, even my little um, yeah. threads. Yeah. <laughs> Go into my tilt a little thread yeah. heap. Well, I'm you are organized. a tilda, tilda fan, aren't you? Yeah, no, so. I am, yeah. and Because it was easy, just bring my own stuff, basically. Yeah. Um, we're all good. Uh, so then, all you want to do is right sides together. And you can chain piece these, quarter of an inch on your machine. Down you go. And of course, you're using the fabulous Juki Kire. Always, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I only bought a worn sewing machine this year, and I'm just like, well, you know, everybody has got more than one nowadays. What and, did I know? say to you when you, you like, bought yeah, it? You I was did. like, you want to go for a Juki? Yeah. Like, no, I don't I've regret always, my choice, but always. I want another one. <laughs> but you will want one, yeah. I just, I just think that I love the fact that it has got that extra space, um, you know, so for quilting larger pieces, that open area, uh, um, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, know, you can roll it up. It's yeah, no, it has. I mean, someone was asking me the other day, well, you've, you know, you've, you've taken the the plate off yeah. the extension plate um, is it a problem no I work with the stent the extension plate off a lot when I'm quilting it's yeah. fabulous because it's a really nice so oh gosh I should have yeah. been putting that right sides together um, but when otherwise what I tend to do is um, if I was concentrating I would yeah. have done those right sides together we'll just do it on this one um, but otherwise I, I work with it off yeah and, and it's just easy it it's really easy and I love that it's that kind of built-in walking food. It's the fact that it comes with 200 sets, uh, 200 pounds uh, worth of feed, including a shank adapter. You know, all the things that I know I had to pay for when I had got my machine, they are included. There is also three flexi bras in there. And it is absolutely so many stitches, but all, like uh, you always say, Natasha, not only has got a stitches and the possibility of alpha, uh, you know, to do alphabets and things like that, it's the fact that does it very well. Oh yeah, no, super well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, it's top notch. Um, having worked with a lot of different sewing machines, yeah, it was, it was, it was absolutely yeah. the one the one that I went to. Yeah. Um, so you're pressing mad. Yes, yes, yes. We've added some more stock. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. And um, when we do the patchwork later at one o'clock, yeah. you'll see why it's so important. So yeah. important. But that basically is how you would you just trim off those bits there. And um, and that is basically your bunting. And you just, yeah. you know, and then you've got double sided bunting. Absolutely. Perfect. And of course you could put a ribbon either way, both sides, and then it's it's sealed, like kind of. Oh yeah, area. I would yeah, so just get some binding and yeah. just uh, some bias binding, fold it over the top, string yeah. it along. Fabulous. And you're done. done. Easy. Easy easy. And that's how uh, good uh, that set of the rotary cutter, uh, the, the, of course, the mat, the tri triangled uh, ruler is because it's perfect for us. But also, I was looking at a book that we had here uh, about, you know, quilting with angles, with hexagons and things like that. This ruler is phenomenal for that. It is in metric, so you have got that as well. Uh, you know, like, for instance, I may have got a 60 degree tri uh, triangle ruler, but I don't have a metric one. And it's always, I find it that it kind of is a really uh, great way right and you have got the details there with a 10 pound saving and uh, 28 pounds and 75 pence is the price in that 694020 is your item number right remember uh, of course we are celebrating beautiful <laughs> tilda fabrics i adore the fact that you these ones have been designed these fabrics specifically it's a collection for children which has made that the fabric is what is it exactly called so now as standard all of her fabrics ah, all are, of them. yeah 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 so this has been i think from the last two collections back she made the swatch she changed uh, mills where her fabric was manufactured and so they now are all Otia Tex, I think that's the right way to pronounce it, um, quality standard, which is like the highest standard you can get. And um, yeah, and also the shrinkage, just three to four percent, whereas normally with a cotton, you would be looking at anywhere between six to eight percent, okay. sometimes more.
So, so imagine and look, oh, it's just so yeah, tall. Now, of course, those ones are mix of fabrics in here that be from the 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 other collection as well. But look at the farm yard, farm. I love the farmhouses in that mess. That option is the busiest one. So, if you want it, please do check out your baskets for that. Remember that you get three American fat horses, so it's based on a yard rather than a meter, and you have got the five different options: the blue animals. Uh, which we can, say, we can have got it here. Then we have got the red farm. Then we have got the mess. Then we have got the blue farm. And then we have got the lilac farm. And they are beautiful. Shall I open? I think I'm going to open the blue farm in here. Perfect because for little boys. Mm -hmm. Because or, there are all sorts of things. Because it's very easy to just go, oh, Tilda, it's for girls because it's pink. Yeah. Um, but look at this. But I also think that this collection is very gender neutral. It, it really is. Because it, every fabric would work for it either. Yeah, it, it does. It works across the board. But I know that a lot of people would discount Tilda. Yep. Um, for boys, but I just think, I look think at that, so absolutely nice. perfect. Now, of course, uh, with this, the dress that I saw there, did you just do a fat quarters? So, um, for the dresses, you would need a fat quarter for the front, a fat quarter for the back, so there's no reason why you can't have um, a, different, a different, one. different one. I was thinking yeah. that would be yeah, yeah. so... so, so. It, it's entirely up to you how how you want to do it but of course you know by adding the trim you have you use less fabric one of them's got a trim one of them doesn't uh, the one next to the goose has got the trim on the bottom um, so again you can get away with yes. with using less fabric just make the trim larger and in the instructions it explains yeah. how to uh, add the trim so that would be in a pattern. Yes, yeah, so that's Emily's Emily's pillow dress. So Emily's pillow dress is one of the patterns from Natasha. Uh, I believe it's a pick and mix of patterns. So we have got that, and that could be one of the patterns you go for. You pick any two, 9 is the price. I adore this pattern because I also think when they grow up a little, it can be just a shirt. It's a, turn, a tunic, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They know, grow so fast. I know. And, uh, and everyone kept saying, oh, have you not made Emily loads and loads and loads of dresses and things? Oh, well, she just grows too fast. But then I thought, actually you know this is the perfect one because you can loosen it because you've got the ribbon ties yeah. at the top you can just loosen it you can make it longer make it shorter and as and just she wears it with a pair of jeans and a, a long sleeve baby grow underneath Absolutely. And off she goes. Now, if you want to go for this, let's have a look at the pick and mix on the website because there we have got all the different options. There are Natasha's own patterns. Uh, the quality of those patterns are second to none. There you have Emily Easy Pillow, uh, yeah, pillow she's Case Dress. It. Uh, then we have got things like, for instance, the hexagon needle keep. We also have got the infinity scarf and also the paper pouch. Oh, now if you look at the pocketed zip pouch, yeah, that is made out of one of those two of fabrics over there. Oh, indeed, yeah. it's the amber option, yeah. isn't it? it was, and it was just, it was just so beautiful to make. But yeah, lots and lots of options there. And the infinity scarf just uses three fat quarters if you want to make it out of some of those. Oh, brilliant. Now, if you want to go for those ones, uh, it's 9.99 uh, for two of them, and it's your choice of two. Right, let's head back to Natasha for uh, the proper demo. <laughs> yeah, the one we were, we, we were planning to do. Um, I like different textures, and when, and I like mixing textures. So when I found a sewable paper, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that had to come my way, which is why we've got the paper pouch on the show today. And this is the paper pouch. Okay. And it is, it's literally made out of sewable paper. And it's got pockets in, so, you know, this is what I was thinking. But I did sort of a grown-up version here. Okay. And you've got this lovely olive paper. But why not, I suddenly thought, if you wanted to... Um, have something that you could either put nappies in or I suddenly thought actually for gardeners it would be really really lovely to keep their seeds in you know their seed of packets course, yes I thought that would be amazing yeah. um, and you can put in as many different pockets and things as you want um, now with that one I've just used a medium weight interfacing uh, but with the pattern I've got a limited number of ones that uh, that come with the paper um, otherwise you could use leather if you wanted to you know if you're someone that works with leather so anything like that that's not going to um, that's not going to need uh, 
you know, edges, um, seams, that's yeah. the word I want. Uh, so what you start off with, with the lining, now you can just use uh, a medium weight interfacing. Obviously that's stuck at my desk at home because, you know, left in a hurry this morning. Mm -hmm. I always leave something, possibly next to my rotary cutter. But, uh, <laughs> but what I did manage to remember to bring with me um, is some H640, which is a, a fusible, ah. um, a fusible fleece. So this one will have a little bit more padding. It will be a different texture. Let's see how that works, shall we? And, and that's, so, this is the thing with your patterns, that they give you the, um, the knowledge and the how-to, but then you can be a little bit more, you know, explorative with the different materials. Absolutely, and I love it when people do. And I love it when people post on my website, um, on my Facebook page. I love it when they show me all the different patterns and things that they've made. I'm going to use this um, in just one moment. I'm going to take that and use that. So just yes. fix that onto there, like that. Uh, and you and you're I using thought. the smaller of the mats, aren't you? But there is Sorry? The, the pressing mat that you are using is the small one. Yeah, it's the little one. It's just so convenient because I sort of ran out of room. I went for a big cutting mat and then went, oh, have to use the small pressing mat. But it, it's fab. Now, if you have got, and I think it might probably be going on this afternoon show if it's not already loaded okay. on today's. Okay. Now, this is quilter's tape that I'm just using, it is in my um, bag of things to bring always because yeah. it's just so useful. Whether I'm doing a zip, whether I'm just attaching stuff, okay. would help if I actually could just... And it's, it's one of those things that I remember you telling me about it and now I use it also constantly. Do so you? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Good. It's one of those ones, yeah. Yeah, my, uh, my friend Gemma said to me yesterday, she said, um, wh what, what is this? <laughs> what exactly is this? She said, I woke up this morning not knowing I needed it, yeah, and, and now I need it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, stick with me. You'll find all sorts of things you didn't know you needed until, you know, you need it. But this is just because um, we're going to limit the amount of sewing um, that we do. So. And also, the other thing that is good to mention about you is that you are a very busy lady. You have got two children, small children. Yes. You have got a very busy uh, business and Natasha makes and you have got animals as well or, yes. you know even a pony and you know it's you need to make things that work time efficient and all your patterns are no nonsense kind of patterns if I know what I'm if you know what I mean yeah no absolutely Practical. I want something it's that holy grail isn't it of making something that looked great didn't take age it's like cooking absolutely, yeah you know, it's that, isn't it? You want something that's going to be quick, but still tastes awesome. It's something that you can make that isn't going to take, uh, because you can get quilting patterns that will take you months and years, and you can hand stitch, and you can do all those sorts of things. Um, but everyone that I know that does that always has a little quick fix. And my patterns also tend to be things that I want and that we use at home. So... Um, you know, I've also brought in, uh, which I don't know if we'll get to yeah. actually today, uh, was um, a, a little, a little um, lunch bag for Emily and, you know, just little things like that because they're what we use and there's no point in having all of these beautiful fabrics if we're not going to use them, we're not going to find ways to incorporate them into our lives. Absolutely. So, we've got that then all ready to go and if you think you've done pulled it in a little bit too you can reposition it which is really fab okay right okay. so here is our paper now that comes with if you go for the pattern with this uh, you know it comes with on its own if you don't if you go for the paper next it doesn't come with if you go no, for this no, item no. number it comes with the paper so it's worth just so not this, this should retail at 12.99 a half meter okay. it is expensive stuff so the fact that I've managed to bring you the strip like this with the pattern for 12.99 is pretty good yeah pretty good um, Okay, so we are going, and you just cut it with your, you know, normally I'd be up in arms about you using a rotary cutter um, with paper, but you do. Because it's a you sewing paper. Because you do, yeah. Um, so and also that, you, you could uh, change the blades if you had, you know. I have one for paper. So yeah. at home I do have one for paper uh, and one just for 
you know, for, for fabric. Uh, for fabric. Mm -hmm. And ne'er the twain shall meet ordinarily. <laughs> um, now on this one, so you get out of your pack, you'll get that left over. And if you want to make, I made actually, um, where is it? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, I ha because I wanted to see what would happen if you sort of scrumple it up. Ah. So the any size pouch. Yeah. That's made, I scrumpled it out, then smoothed it out to give it that kind of antique look. But you have enough left over to then make something like that. Fabulous. Should Absolutely you wish. So fabulous. it is really versatile. And that was sewn and turned through and, and all sorts. So let's pop that to one side. Um, and that as well. So let's fold this. This is going to be your internal pocket. So it's the sort of perfect um, crossover for anyone who paper yeah. crafts wants to start yeah. sewing sew with paper and then we're just going to pop it i'm just going to increase my stitch length slightly and start slightly in what i will do is just rather than going backwards and forwards i'm just going to do a little holding stitch but you see it just stitches an absolute dream it's really weird really ah. weird and actually from the last hour listening to about the synthetic paper. I wondered if you could sew with that. I'll have to get my hands on some and just see. And as you get to the end, again, just... Okay. Do you want that out of the way? Would that yeah, help? Yeah, that would make more... Yeah, they're gonna, thank you. Is that easier? Can we see better? Yeah. So what you can see is that is going to be... That's going to be your... That's going to be your inside part there. So that's that already yeah. done. Um, and now you want to fold the fold it in half. Okay. So there's no laborious measurements or anything with this. Fold it in half. Okay. Flip it. Fold it in half again. And then turn that one down by an inch. All these measurements are all, all in there. Yeah, and what this will do is just reinforce where you add your popper. Ah, right. Okay, because that's an area of, of high usage. And then just pop yourself a little stitch along there. Um, that is acting basically as your seam. And You mentioned, Natasha, that you would have to put the, 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 the stitch length would be a little bit further apart. Oh, I just, it's just personal preference, just okay. because it's going to top stitch. You, could, you can do it any stitch length you like. Um, it, is, it is just, it's still, I mean, I wondered why it wasn't moving then, then realized it was coming up against uh, my, my little box of goodies there. But yeah, it's, it just stitches like any fabric. It's, re it's really strange. But I do kind of like it. I do enjoy it uh, a huge amount. Now, the other thing to think about is um, at this point, if you want to sew uh, like a little yeah. pockets or anything like that, I would sew that on now. If you want to sew it through the back, then you can. Or if you want to just sew that pocket, so you've got two pockets there, then yeah. do that now before you start yeah, to yes, add so everything else in so then okay ah see yeah yeah so that will sit on there that will fold up that will go down there ah perfect like that and you just start <coughs> excuse me to just assemble it and that will then be stitched on so that it comes down there like that yeah that is so that it. that's that so let's just sew this along the top line there yeah and that's of course the um is it, it re is is the farm tilde farm fabric i think that one is included in the red farm uh one it's in yeah it's that one yes 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 yeah. um i just i just love it and it had that little hint of green in there 
but I thought, oh, do you know what? That's going to work so beautifully with the olive coloured yeah, paper. Definitely. And of course, uh, remember that it's a set of three uh, fat quarters, American fat quarters, based on a yard uh, rather than a meter. Uh, Eleven forty-nine is the price for that beautiful tilde, uh, tilde tidy farm. You have got five different options. In all five options, you're getting different fabrics. So basically, if you went for all five of them, you will get fifteen different fabrics uh, and fat American fat quarters. Add your pattern in with the paper and then you can get flexible as well now and you are if you are a freedom member on top of that you don't pay P and P on any of those items why not becoming a freedom member right now now this is the really beautiful thing about this pattern is that I am um, I adjusted this because I thought it was spongy so it might take up a little bit more but look, actually, I've adjusted it too much. Um, so all I would do yeah. is just trim that back. Okay. Well, you trim that. Uh, shall we uh, have, give a little bit more information about the Juki machine? Uh, we, we love it. I mean... I don't have one, but Catherine, Natasha, Jenny Jackson has got one, uh, and they all uh, sing their praises. Now, what you get in here, well, the specifications, well, the sewing spade, you can see uh, the needle types, the number of stitches, 351 different types of stitches. Now, one of the point, important points, you can see the maximum zigzag width, 7 mil, maximum stitch length, 5 mil. Now, the zigzag width of 7 mil, that means that it's really good if you want to do a sewing for dressmaking as well having that extra width of the stitches so it means that if you don't have an overlock that will act um, you know in a very good way for that as well you have got 20 different types of button holes you have got a press up foot lift electronic so that means that with your feet pedal you can also uh, um, program it so again it's, it's really easy you have adjustable foot pressure you have got the press of foot uh, you have got the bobbin types 15 class number of fonts for alphabetic and numeric fonts that means that you can program for instance if you're a quilter you can program handmade by say Natasha and then you have it and you can save it to your memory and you can then do it into ribbons and things like that into your project not only you're getting the machine you are also getting the standard presser food the zipper presser food the overcasting the blind stage the buttonhole manual now the one thing I would say is of course you are getting the quarter inch uh, guide foot which is incredibly for important you also are getting the free nail lifting lever if you are more used to that you have got that as well you also are getting this you know the kind of the things that we need like ripper stage the cleaning brush now all this and all this food that I haven't mentioned uh, it's a standard with the machine now then we are giving you an extra 200 pounds worth of feet including the shank adapter uh, I pay for mine I you know I'm new to it and it's already had to go for it because if if you want to use with certain um, quilting rulers you will need that to for their different type of surface then you have got the cording food you get the applique food incredibly be, uh, you know popular that one I do I also had to buy one for that one you have got the binder food the open to free motion quilt food that is really cool one to have the button saw on food did uh, you have got 10 extra jerky bobbins in there beading and cording food braiding food conceal seed food again another one that I had to buy and a stage guide food. What I was mentioning is the ones that, that I had to buy is because they are food yet even as a beginner I had to spend like over 200 pounds of set of uh, you know feed uh, extra that is included in your machine. Now on top of that you have got three uh, flexible in, uh, the payments offer so you can take that and you don't pay interest on that which means that you spread it in the cost uh, 931 uh, 931 pounds 66 pence is the price for it. 
Now, if you're a Freedom member, you do not pay PMP on that, and you know that you have it all delivered. By the way, Freedom is great because Freedom means here at Hot Chan that, that you pay five pounds and ninety-seven pence per month, and that in it gives you unlimited standard delivery, no contracts so you can cancel anytime. You have exclusive discounts, and by the way, you can take a pause if you're going on holiday. You can pause it for two weeks. And then there's monthly newsletter members batch. Now, if you are watching from, um, you know, Europe, there is an option as well. So that means that you are not paying extra PMP every time you buy. You can just put it in euros and cents. And then if you are in America, you have got the same option as well, of course, to not pay for standard delivery. It is really makes sense to become a member of Freedom. Right. Um, but we are back to you, uh, uh, Natasha, with uh, that singing the praises of the fabulous Kire. Oh, we do love it. We do love it. We are pretty much done. We've gone. Um, I've just sewn down both sides there. Yeah. Now, because this is spring, you can see this was just done with a medium weight interfacing. So that is pretty much like that. But this is a little bit more padded, uh, which is great. So all I'm going to do is, you see, that's how it will fold. And you can <laughs> literally do grease it. It's oh, weird, like weird it. stuff. But what I might just do is stick a little line of stitches just along there, uh, just to add in. So again, the machine is great. Um, I have tried this with other machines, and it also stitches great on all of them that I've tried it on. I haven't got any special feet on this or anything like that. Um, all I've done is use my ruler to measure up so that my stitching is parallel to the pockets. Um, and um, yeah, yeah. it's great. You could keep your English paper piecing stuff in here. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I think it's a real. I was thinking also for glasses. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Why not? Because, you know, I mean, of course it comes with a paper, but you could readapt it fabric, fabric back to front, like as well. Do you know, if you don't want to, or when you've got the pattern and you've used it for paper, use it with some faux leather. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, it would, you know, it would be lovely. And just interface it. That's all I would say. You can use it, you could use it with the planes, um, but just interface, just interface both sides. That's what I would say. And then that now wants to, and you've got then just that stitching along, along the top there. I love that. Sweet, isn't it? And then you can then add whatever clip you want to shut it. Now that is paper so it means that we could stamp on it. Yes you could. So you could bring maybe uh, from the one day special those gorgeous uh, all and create the stands that collage it types. Imagine making a steampunk sort of cover and then sew it in like that. I think that would be. Uh, I would use a stays on or archival to stamp on to there because you want to make them permanent. Um, that is really, really cool. All right, uh, we have got a busy phone line, so if you have got access to the internet, hotchanda.com or the mobile app, uh, that would be the quickest and fast uh, and, and easiest ways to order. Remember, we have got beautiful Tilda uh, fabric here, brand new at Hotchanda, the gorgeous uh, animals. We have got in options, five different options. In any of the five options, you are going to get three fat quarters, American fat quarters, which are based on a yard rather than a meter. And of course, the quality of Tilda, the beautiful designs. And remember this, now this fabric, you can make children's sleepwear with it because it has got that fabric with lesser shrinkage as well. And of course, it has been, uh, you know, qualified to be you know, you can safely make children's eyewear. Now, here you have got the different options. So, blue animals, uh, they were, the one that we see here is blue uh, farm. Then we have got a uh, lilac, uh, lilac uh, farm. Then we have got the mist, the uh, farm mist, the red um, farm, so you're getting all that, and then the blue animals in here. Uh, blue animals is the most popular now, so if you want to go for that one, do check out your baskets. Again, I love that is like I would call it, you know, like gender neutral, uh, because it means that you can do little, you know, projects for children or for grown-ups, for, you know, Look, for instance, our Leone, she loves uh, her animals. I do love my animals as well, but you know, kind of, that could be really cool to make a little pouch. Maybe you have got something in the kitchen in here as well. Uh, you could have something like this for, I think in a kitchen would look really nice as well, the kind of decorations. 
table mats, you know, you, you can do so much and it will work so well because it's remember it's been designed for as well for children. So therefore you know that it has been designed for a long lasting color wear as well. Now 11 pounds and 49 pence is the price for three of the five quarters. Blue animals in the lead at the minute. Maple uh, Red Farm is then of next in here with all of them have got that beautiful floral as well in there. Then we have got the uh, mist in here. They said, and I adore the salt of blue. This is my favorite option. Then we have got the blue farm as well. And then is we have got uh, lilac farm last. Now, if you went for all five options, you wouldn't have any repeats. They would be all 15 beautiful, ink unique patterns. Now, if you wanted that one, you can check out your baskets. 11.49 is your price. 495.970 is your item number. Now, we will dispatch on the 29th of October. Then we are going to the Maple Farm. Here, you are getting four fat quarters, a gorgeous quality of uh, till that. Uh, again, American fat quarters, so you are getting them based on a yard rather than a meter. I adore this one. You have got three different options. The one that I'm showing you is one is one of the four fat quarters from the pink option. And you can see the beautiful flowers. I adore. This is my favorite, I think, because it's just so pretty. It is so delicate. And the colorways, like Natasha was saying, if you have got anything from, from Tilda, it kind of coordinates. It, the color palettes always have got a relation to each other. Then the blueberry, again, four fat quarters, and the florals. Look at that. You have got here, I, l I think this is a very traditional, yet has got that peony, so it kind of breaks it down a little bit from that traditional rose element. And that's what I, one of the things I love about Tilda, that it's almost like, it's, it's almost like traditional, yet a little bit of element in there that is innovative in the design. It has got that sophistication of almost ask you gentle questions in, in kind of the way the colors are matched, the way the patterns work together. Uh, and this one is the amber option. Now, whichever option you go for, 14 pence and 99 pence is a price. 500-367 is your item number. Right, let's head back to Natasha, but let's have a look at the pattern pick and mix first because 9.99 is the is the price for two of them and you can see in here that you maybe you want the hex I love the hexagon needle keep or oh, I, I do a, I do like a hexagon and then of course you have got different ones as well in there including of course the folded pouch or the one that Natasha was using which is the paper pouch now if you go for the paper pouch in this pick and mix you will not get the paper if you wanted to go with a sewable paper it's a different item number so but half of the stock of the one with the pay so we will paper has already gone and once it's gone it's gone so make sure that you check out your baskets for that the details are on the screen with the one that comes with the paper 12 pounds and 99 pence uh, 735 251 is that pattern with the paper right Natasha what, yes where are we up to let's talk scraps oh yes okay so you've done your main your main whatever it is that you're doing so um, for me I took a look at the fabrics and I made the nesting tidies uh, which are just down the front here and they will go in Emily's bedroom I'm not gonna lie that's why yeah. I made them um, and they will just help tidy us up uh, which is fab put some toys in there or whatever she's got she loves wooden blocks and stuff like that oh, so yeah, they yeah. can go in there and, and she'll play with those but with what I had left over yeah you can then make a little bag or something like that. So maybe you've made a little dress and you want her to have a little bag or something to go with it. Let's talk the scraps. So if you've got five inch squares, you can make just a little, a little scrap bag um, that's going to be gorgeous. So um, we'll look at a handle first of all. Okay, so the, sure. um, you can do this from the width of your fat quarter and uh, just chop off the salvage even the salvage has chickens on can we just okay. have a moment's appreciation Aww. for the salvage oh yep they're so cute <laughs> i'm totally keeping Attention that to yeah. detail. it's just fab um and then 
if you've if you've had to do this in different fabrics doesn't matter really doesn't matter just pop them right sides together and then all we're going to do is run a stitch down either side um, just try and line them up uh, and and so instantly you've got a strap and actually it would be quite sweet if it was in different fabrics as well so whatever you've got left let's use it um, it's all usable very very much so and Tilda lends itself so beautifully to quilting that was how I first found it was through quilting but also for the toy making as yeah. well so if you've got some of the Tilda toys maybe you fancy um, having a look through some of her books and making some of them also do have a look on Tilda's world because um, when I spoke to her in January when I, I did an interview with her was it January February gosh it was early on this year feels like a lifetime ago um, <laughs> We, uh, we chatted about the fact that this year she hasn't brought out a book. Yeah. Normally she would bring out a book a year, but this year she hasn't brought out a book. What she's done instead is put a whole load of her patterns free online. Wow. So the goose that we're going to look at later is a free download at ah. Tilda's World. Yeah. And you can find all of these different things on there. And, and then how you choose to use them, make them up, is entirely up to you. And when I was cutting out the pieces for it yesterday, I thought, you know what, I will have one as a cushion, but the other one that I'm going to make for you this afternoon, I'll make into a tote bag. Yeah, Like a market tote yeah. bag would be amazing. And also, because the other demo that I was going to do, but instead we started talking about bunting. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Down here. This was, again, this was one of her free downloads, and this was, this was the bee patchwork. Yeah, oh, it's so cool. But it suddenly dawned on me, where do you get bees? In the countryside, yeah. right? Round farms. Yes. In the flowers. Okay, so yeah. I, what I was going to do, and I've got my insole bright at the ready, is to make a lunch bag having that as a front panel and then the, and then the farmyard fabric oh, yes. on the back so you know if we get time later we can come back and revisit that but how gorgeous would that it's be absolutely. on the back be to have that on the back that on the front and that's what i mean about mixing and matching through the this this is all sorts of different collections here but look at that soft gray yeah. it's the same as that and this is all tilda fabric so that falls in with that and then you've got the green there that goes with the green there and then you've got oranges that are it all tallies it all works together so that was why i was really comfortable to do that with knowing because i know that people worry about color Absolutely. oh i don't know if i can is the color going to be the same she works with very similar uh, uh, color tones but you you know it's always going to work yeah it's always going to look beautiful okay. so uh, we are the, the straps that you have. Oh, so this is the strap. I'm just yeah. going to turn it through. Okay. With a handy little turning through tool. Okay. Yeah, I think it and does. through it comes. Yeah. That's so amazing. And then. And then we'll give it a quick press. And then we'll have a handle. Get a handle on it. And um, there we go. Okay. And I would run another couple of lines of stitches down there yeah, top stitch it, yeah. yeah just to top stitch it it just reinforces it gives it a little bit more body um, if it was going to be a strap for like my market tote that I'll yeah. make out of my um, my goose from later then I would probably pop a little bit of wadding in there because I'm a bag over filler so <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah Natasha <laughs> bag <laughs> over filler Hello, my name's Natasha, yeah. <laughs> and I do overfill my bags. Oh. It's true, it's true. Um, and then, uh. but it's just it's it's about using every bit, and I think you know other people will also use. Um, every scrap for uh, the English paper piecing. Yeah. So Tilda is gorgeous for English because paper piecing. It's the smaller patterns, isn't it? Yeah. She's got every size yeah. covered. So, you know, whether you've got the ditzy, and you've got the ditzies in all of these, um, or whether you want the slightly larger ones, or whether you want the really big showstoppers, you've got all of them in there, which is just, yeah. just gorgeous. So I'm just gonna run this down here, and then that's your handle done 
and it's just pretty simple. So before we finish, the only other thing that I wanted to talk about was nesting seams. And I know that it's something that we talk about a lot, but it is really important. If you, the minute that you start um, quilting, people start talking about having the perfect point. Yes. Have you heard this power? Oh, yes, perfect I have. Point. I don't And we live in fear of not having perfect points. Yep. Well, the way to get perfect points is how you press your seam. Ah, all right. So you want all of your points to meet in the middle. That's what yep. I mean when I say a yep. perfect point, where all of them meet in the middle. So when you've sewn your quarter of an inch seam allowance down each one, yep. then you'll see that the seam goes that way. Yep. So when I press this one, I want the seam to go that, that way. away. And so if I just look, if that's pressed that way, then I want to have this one on top. Yep. And then that will yeah. then nest and if I can just show you yeah. when that yeah. is on there uh, they nest they sort of slot yeah. in together perfect. and create so that perfect they are not going to shift yeah when they're sewn together and now, that's how you will get that perfect you are back at yes. one aren't you yes so you will have more pattern and more demonstrations we will Yes, we're going to be all about the goose. Oh, all about the goose, I like that. Uh, of course, stay tuned uh, here. We have got sweet poppy stencils after the break. And of course, Lucy has got beautiful demonstrations for you. It is indeed another beautiful hour of inspiration here at Herchanda with sweet poppy stencils. Then uh, in an hour's time, I'll uncreate a fourth birthday one day special. And then at one, Tilda again. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So 
now join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. It is, yes, it is still good morning. I lose track of the days. Um, Lucy's here again. Hello, hello. Uh, I get the pleasure of working with you. When were you last in? Last month. I've been last really month. good. Every month. Every I've month, been, yeah. consistently. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely. Now, as ever, we've got some gorgeous stencils on the show, and we've got three new todays that you've bought for us. Now, um, starting with our lovely cross, I think this is really a a very regal image. It is very simple but very elegant I think. Very um, much so. Because it's a difficult one isn't it? Yes it's good for Christmas but mm -hmm. sometimes especially times like this you've got to send the appropriate card. Yeah. Um, but even for christenings and things like that so yeah. I think it covers all, all bases. Yeah communion all sorts mm. yeah really nice um, and it is a good size image so it's a real yes. focal point yeah, yeah. Uh, but I just love the shape of it there's just something really sort of majestic about it and it's such an easy one to do so yeah. so simple so I hopefully I'll be able to show people how easy it is to work and how you can get so many different effects with it lovely uh, then the next one that we have here we go so um, this is our lovely Christmas word so you've got choir Bethlehem mm. frankincense um, and all different fonts as well this is designed by Lavinia Stamps uh -huh. for us yes. it's an old one so although it's new to her oh, I see. It's an old one for us. Right. And when it's gone, that's it. It's not being remade. Oh, because okay. Because it's, it's a design that's about 10 years old. So oh. that is it. So if you like that, you've got to get it. Please, yes, mm. do get that. And of course, you could mask pieces off. Definitely, yeah. yeah. And you can have it behind the cross, very subtle. You can have it as the forefront of the card as mm. well. So it, you just pick out bits that you like on there. Really like this. And I do love the samples that you bring for us. The girls are all, yeah. they're my, my backbone, my spine. <laughs> um, they're all very different. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what makes, I think, the Sweet Poppy design team so good because they'll hit someone's yes. um, taste. taste. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, so, you know, I just give it them. And this was very quick. I only gave it them about three weeks ago. Right. Um, and they've come up with the most beautiful samples. They have. And I will show those very shortly. Next one, which is another new today. We've got mm. our... Oh, sorry. Oh, I got mixed up. No, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, I can one. see. Yeah, yeah. This one is a new today. Uh, this one is your teardrops. Um, uh, uh, so these could be splashes and all exactly. sorts. Exactly. Um, the girls use it so much. Mm. Um, and although again, it's old to us, yep. but it's new to her chanda. Um, every time I get a sample in, there'll always be mm -hmm. a splash in the back oh, because wonderful. it can be your background, it can be your main card. Yes. And you wait till you see the samples, they're stunning. Cool. All right then. Um, next one that we've got is the Dahlia or Dahlia, however yeah. you pronounce it, I'm never sure. <laughs> this one was brought back around about I think it was March or April right um, very very popular but it's a very elegant design it's a licensed design mm -hmm. um, to us right. um, and it's a bought license so you can still make and everything with it we buy a proper manufacturing license for that one right I see. Um, and it's just so elegant so you can take parts of it you yep. can use it lots and lots of times mm -hmm. on the background of a card and it is just so beautiful to use indeed it is and then the next one that we have is our 
gorgeous snowflake. Love a yeah. snowflake. The snowflake. We've brought it a couple of times and it just seems to sell out. Mm, um, yeah. And, you know, we know people are making their Christmas cards now. They sort of start, for sweet poppy stencils, people buy Christmas continually through the year. Yeah. It is so easy to use and I can show how to use that and it's got a matching die as well for it. Lovely. So it's got sometimes a stencil needs a little bit of help to cut it yeah, out yeah. or a customer will say, well, would you make a die? If it's um, cost effective, we will. Sometimes we can't, yeah, um, but we've made the die for this and it, it cuts it beautifully. Oh, so if nice. you get the snowflake, yep. Get the die. Yeah, you recommend want it. it. Yeah. And uh, have a look on the website for that. And then, um, last but not least, that we've got on the counter in terms of our pick and mix is the uh, hot air balloons. Something a bit different. It is. Um, I brought a bit of an eclectic mix because um, not everybody wants to see Christmas. Um, so, the hot air balloons, again, this is an old design mm -hmm. um, for us. And the die only came out this year. Right. Because we have to seriously think about manufacturing the dies because well, they're it's expensive. It's got to be cost effective, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And it cuts a dream, so it cuts all between the lines and everything. Nice. And I just oh, I love this. It's just yeah. so, you know. Any occasion. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. And people keep saying, mail cards are difficult. Yeah. There you go. This is a yeah. good one, yeah. And then we've got some samples. There's lots more um, as part of this pick and mix on the website. But isn't that so elegant? Mm. Absolutely it's beautiful, stunning. isn't it? And it's an old, that's an old, old sample. Really? It's, yeah. Well, it stood the test yeah. of time, this has. <laughs> and this one, I'll try and name check people. This one is by Sue. Sue. Lovely. I bet you can tell everybody's style. I can, but sometimes there are the odd card, I can't think who's made it. Um, because there's no names on there, yes. so the girls are pretty good now. They keep me up to date That's on good. the names. They help me. Yeah, this one's by Linda, and again, just so just effective. Just using your inks through it. That's, That's it. All. Brilliant. And then this one's by Susan. I love that. I just think it's just, it just makes you smile, doesn't it? Yeah, lovely. Uh, Molly, I've just heard, has said she can see fish. Yeah, you could draw little eyes oh, and all could, sorts yeah, on there. Totally. Yeah, little tails and things. Yes, whatever yeah. you see. Uh, and then the next one, I'm not sure who's done this one, but um, it is... That's could be Karen. I apologise if it's not. It could mm, be Karen. Don't worry. And it's nice because it's quite elegant. clean and yeah. elegant, as you say. Yeah. And some of the girls are very grungy and yep. mixed media and they do lots of layering. I'm a bit scared of layering. I'm, I'm learning. Yeah. I'm trying to be bold. <laughs> <laughs> Love uh, That's beautiful, isn't it? That's Eileen. And she is. Is, she is our layering queen. She just, you know, go for it, Lou. Get, yep. get it in there. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Very nice. And then we've got this one by <gasps> oh. Tracy. Yeah. Tracy Nutton, and Excellent. that's gorgeous. Just some clouds, and if you haven't got a cloud dye, then yep. a bit of cotton wool, sponge it, and make your own clouds. Nice, lovely. Um, again, I'll show you lots more uh, throughout the course of the hour. Seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Are uh, you picking any two? Um, yeah, have a look for all the others on the pick and mix. And uh, it is. There you go. Oh yeah, Isla, the Highland cow. I remember <laughs> you bringing I here. I topped her. up some Sorry. stock because I knew with the splash, the cats and the owl, people want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Isla, you've you've got to get Isla. She's beautiful. Amazing. So that's <laughs> nice that you have them. Um, you've we, you've bought us a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, because sometimes people say, well, I like that, but I didn't want. Yeah, any of the others. So they've got a nice choice on there to have a little look, have a route through, right. and see what we've topped up. Lovely. Now, we have got some um, larger stencils for you, and this is your abstract. Um, and is this a new today as well? Brand new. Um, bit of a drama. It was, should, should have been with us last time. Right. Um, but when it went through customs, the whole batch got damaged. Oh, no. So it couldn't come yeah. on. So we had to wait till this one. So this is as it is. This is by Emma Cronin. Ah. Um, Eileen asked for um, an abstract background. Right. And sometimes we can, you know, cater to the design team's um, choices and what they want. Yeah. And it's been so popular. It's yeah. been amazing, yeah. Well, we're already 15% wow. of the stock gone now. There you are. And again, some um, really lovely samples. Take a look at this one. So that one's made it nice and soft. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Using it in your background, using it as the forefront of the card as well. Yeah, whereas this one, this is sort of like a space scene. Cosmic. Yeah. Isn't it? It's lovely. Loving that. That one is That's by... That's Linda. Yeah, yeah. And then take a look at this. There you go. See, Susan. What's Susan. Oh. She's cut it out. Now, oh, yeah. the demo that I'm doing, I'm taking um, inspiration from Susan for my, right. my first demo. I thought she'd inked on top, so I painstakingly inked on top, but she did cut it out. But 
I'm lethal with knives, so oh, I'm okay. not cutting it out. <laughs> That's fair <laughs> enough. And then we've got an, one more made by Susan R ah, with the stag as well. So any stencil that you've got, yeah. any bold stencil, use the abstract as your background. Nice, there you go. Twelve ninety nine for your abstract. Item number is 289617. And then the next one that we've got is our lovely... Um, are we calling four. it four? Four yeah. back plates, yeah. We call them back plates because they're the biggest stencils that we do. Right. We can't go any bigger than that. Um, okay. It's too expensive. Um, so, and they're all made in sweet poppy or stainless steel. Yeah. Uh, it's a mix, so it sticks to the magnetic sheets. Um, and the full back plate, it was created by Lavinia Stamps. Now, when we brought it, mm. it's completely sold out. Right. Um, it was a bit of a panic show because just all went in the first shows. Yeah. So we brought it back again. Lovely. So, and it's just so elegant. It's back, backing up a card, Absolutely. main card, whatever you fancy. Nice. Oh, and then look at this. This is so gorgeous. Um, is it dot? dot? Ah, That's excellent. our dot, yeah. Isn't that elegant? Just look at this. Beautiful. And then this one, not sure who this one's by. That is Janet, ah, Janet Hines. Right, beautiful. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. item number is 735843. Already 15% wow. of the stock's yeah. gone. There you go, so it's a back by popular demand. And then we move on to our, our fairy lanterns. Fairy lanterns, so yep. again, a Lavinia Stamps design. Yep. Um, we're really good friends and yeah. for about 10 years Trace has designed for us so people will see some of her images maybe in stamp form coming on her agenda yeah um she'll say what do you want Luce and I go oh <laughs> spoil me yeah. and she came up with this and it took a long time to get it drawn because she draws by pen does she so yeah. then we have to painstakingly go over so that the lasers lasers can cut yes because um, it's quite fine detail it is there. very fine it was touch and go if it would get manufactured um, but it is, you can take mm. parts of it, all of it, it's just beautiful. It is. Look, Jellyfish, pumpkins, Oh yeah, you fancy. Oh, yeah, of course, I haven't thought of that. <laughs> I mean, look at this sample as well. This is by Tracy and it's absolutely Isn't glorious. It gorgeous? She's bold with colours, Tracy. She is, very nice. Let me help them make sure. Uh, again, not sure who this one's by. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I never put my name on anything no. that I do. Oh, it's by you. Oh, brilliant <laughs> yeah. stuff. So this is what I did on the last, when it was last with us. Oh, that's so wonderful. all we did is um, we pasted, but then we sprayed over the Ranger um, Dina Wakely acrylic sprays. Right. And when you wipe it away, it gives you a relief, that, but it makes the paste tacky again, so yeah. we just stuck foil over the top of it. Lovely. It looks really good. Uh, so that is $12.99. Item number is 755890. Then we move on to some stamps. So we've got um, a set that's called Just Words Friends Stamp Set, um, and we've got some really nice sentiments on here. They're a new set. Right. Um, so we've not brought these previously to Hachanda, but they're... they're we're all sending things now we because um, not everybody does social media or doesn't want to go on social yeah, media. Want to so rest from it. <laughs> yeah, and they're not able to visit. So I think we're going back to the old ways of sending something. I agree. So they're just very apt words, you know, about yeah. your friends and you're missing them and things like that. Uh, true friends are never apart. Maybe in distance, but never in heart. That's beautiful. Best friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. Yeah, they very are apt, isn't lovely. it? Lovely. <laughs> few samples. So again, I'm conscious of time. Uh, this one is by Dot, and um, she's used the nature is the art of God on there. And using the splash in the background, but using oh, yes. someone else's stamp. So if you've got stamps, you know, yep. mix and match it. We don't mind. Definitely. Yep. And then we've got this one um, by Tracy. I think that's Tracy. Yep, that's yes, that's Tracy. Tracy. Um, and she's used, if I had a flower for every time I thought of you, I could walk in my garden forever. Oh, that's really and soulful. And that's by, I can't remember who that's by, but we put the quote of the name. Alfred uh, Tennyson. Alfred Tennyson. There you go. 9 99 for those stamps. Uh, seven stamps in total. Item number is 596263. Then we move on to our Noel word stamp set. There you are. Uh, so you've got the joy to the world, Noel, uh, from our house to yours. Yeah, love that. And then, of course, you've got your Merry Christmas season's greetings yeah. and things like and that. And the, a lot of the script is our Sweet Poppy script. Yeah. So it's not a script that you can normally get um, on your computers and things like that. Um, we had to buy that particular script to, to give us the beautiful fonts and the swirls and things. I see. Um, so it's quite elegant. Lovely. Yeah, look at that. Uh, okay, again, 999. Item number is 909007. 
And then moving on, we have got, which one's this one? Oh, uh, just joy. words, joy and peace. Yeah. Stamps. It's been out of stock a long, long time. Right. It's only just come back into stock. Um, we brought it a couple of years or last year mm -hmm. um, to her chandler. And again, it's just nice scripts that will finish yeah. your card. Absolutely. Um, we're not a stamp company. We're a stencil company. But a lot of the girls, especially when we're at shows, yeah. they wanted, people, customers would say, well, I want that and I want that word and I want that stamp. So we started bringing stamps Lovely. in to complement. Ah, uh, there you go. Deck uh, the halls with bells and holly. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, and it's a fabulous Highland cow. <laughs> uh, 9 99 And then just very quickly to finish off, we have got the dies that are going to match the stencils. So the first one here is the hot air balloon set of stencils. So you get, uh, not stencils, sorry. Dyes. Thank you, <laughs> dies. Uh, so you're getting all three. And then you can see it cuts out beautifully because then you don't want to be fiddling about really. I'm lethal. I'm lethal with knives. I don't cut. So yeah. hence the um, buddy dies. Yeah. They work perfectly. They do. There you go. You can see that's perfect. £10.99. Item number is 448100. And then last but not least, we've got the snowflake die to match that stencil again. Um, and I, I wouldn't want to fussy cut that. So, no, yeah, again, I, very useful. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go in and out or anything. It, it would stay flat on the card. It will work as well. If you miss out on the stencil, yeah. you can get a beautiful snowflake oh, yeah. without it. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, it's nice to be able to paste and then die cut it. Mm. Um, and they cut through the paste and they cut through the 300 GSM card Lovely. perfectly. So they're really good dies as good well. Good and strong. Yeah. 10 421429 some other things that you might see uh, Lucy using now this I can't stress enough um, how useful it is to get that perfect finish and it is the essential um, I nearly <laughs> nearly said it <laughs> essential tool set where you've got the spreader uh, the two sets of stencil tape and also your magnetic sheet for 11.99 683492 we've also got blending brushes on here uh, you're getting a set of four, and there you go. It's eighteen pounds and forty-nine pence. You've got your blending brushes and the four mini smoothies. That's oh right, that's a new today. Eighteen pounds and forty-nine pence. One zero nine zero six two is the item number. Okay, um, are you ready to go? Lucy? Yeah, I'm good. Wonderful. Good to go. So, okay, so we are going to play with the abstract stencil um, and we'll also do the dahlia. It's a little bit fiddly, yeah. um, but if you can cut out, like Susan, you could cut um, the abstract parts out, but not, not for me. So, um, hence I've gone the long way around right. it. No worries. So, we're going to use the new blending brushes. Nice. So, in the set, you get two large or what we class as medium mm -hmm. um, and you get too small um, they're non-shedding mm. um, and when we're going over the metal uh, stencils they're yeah. not going to start losing the hair on, right. the, on them yes because the stencils are quite sharp they, yes, they're yes. very very sharp so yeah. don't um, don't cut the uh, don't clean them with your hands no. I'm always cutting myself um, we've put your four in because you want one for your red one for your blue yeah uh, yellow and greens. Yes. When you're cleaning them off, all you're going to do is, once you've used your inks, just clean them off on a bit of kitchen roll. Don't start um, washing them or anything like that. If you do decide to wash them, then make sure you're leaving them down so that the water's not soaking up into the head of the brush. Right. Okay, so I would leave them, if ever I did wash them, I'd leave them like that. And I would leave them a couple of days. So you've also got inside uh, the beautiful little egg smoothies as well. Yeah. You get a different finish from uh, using the brush to using the smoothies. You get a more dense finish with the smoothies than what you do with the brush. Right. Okay. Lovely. So I'm using my oxides. Now, normally on my set at home, I've got a little bit of... Um, all I do is I just cut out a little bit of that and then I mark it with a red or I blue see. or green, whatever yep. colour. So I'm going to go in with... So I'm taking off and you're just building your layers up. So it's gentle circular motions, just building up. And again, taking off. You can add to it, you can never take away. So we're just moving. Yep. 
in a circular motion. You're just building up bit by bit. Because at first you think not much is going down, but when you reveal it, <laughs> you, different, you go, oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> and we just keep on our colour, and it just goes on so smoothly. Nice. Now, this stencil is 